Hello there, today a video about Kerbal Space Program. I'm Sergmir and today I'm gonna show you a type of rocket I built. It's uh, for mainly about this part beneath here. Uh, it's to get in outer space pretty simple without wasting too much fuel. Uh, I have to say the rest of the rockets is a pretty filled design. It's just to show uh, in this video what you can do with it and what's capable of. So what I've done, uh, I've built a simple rocket here with a lot of fuel and engines to uh, speed up but it's mainly about the path here uh, what it does it gets you into the first uh, of out of the first layer of the atmosphere without wasting any liquid fuel or oxidizer to boost your engines so what you have you don't have to build ne unnecessary uh, tra uh, traps to get you in that first stage which actually I think is the hardest part because you yeah, waste the most of fuel on that p that part so uh, I've got here a multi multiple uh, engines, all aero engines by the way. So it's all meant actually for an airplane, but it works quite well on rockets as well. A uh, lot of air intake and some more fuel tanks, but they're not really necessary, but I think it looks cool. So that's why I did it actually. Then after that you got here six uh, boosters, no, not really boosters, just engines. After they're depleted, you yeah let them loose and activate the first main engine. After that, you activate the last five engines. Here's one beneath here, and that's it. So let's give it a test run to the launch pad. And there we are. This rocket. It will let's see. Yes, now it's done. So I put my SAS on. Speed up the throttle. Start it. You heard the noise of the engines. And there we go. So you see, it takes a little bit of time before it li has lift off, but still, it's yeah, quite a good engine way. And a little bit of throttle down, so we don't cause it to overheat too fast. You see we got the stable speeding apart here already 18 miles per uh, meter per second and we're going up and what you do is you let this run to uh, 15 kilometers above the ground and then you first uh, yeah cut the throttle so all the engines will shut down first because with aero engines they don't shut down immediately it costs a little bit time between uh, when it's fully down you hear the noise still and when the noise is gone you let them uh, go and then you speed up the yeah the main engines to get further into space so we're now already at five kilometers with a stable speed of 130 at the moment we're going still up slowly but let's see six seven already See here the intake air will deplete at one point completely or almost completely before that you already have to shut them down at 12.5 uh, kilometers above the ground you actually uh, leave the first atmosphere already but yeah you see now starting to go down really fast so I'm going to give it a little boost to speed up our speed even faster 30 kilometers and now it's already at the point where the air almost is completely gone 14 and 15 and we go to cut it down now this what I was talking about you see they're still making noise or if it, yeah now they're gone so leave the trap speed up again and there we go and there goes our debris so now you can speed up properly and what I have done now is I have yeah, didn't waste any fuel. I don't know why it's spinning around, but that's not important at the moment. Let's a bit. Okay, it's uncontrollable, but still, uh, it's not about this rocket. It's about the fact that I didn't waste any liquid fuel or oxidizer in the port to get up into the atmosphere. And from now on, you can speed up yeah, really easy, actually. And uh, you still have a lot of fuel, so you can reach farther places into the universe or in our solar system 
with easier and smaller rockets. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope you learned something and enjoyed it.